Good morning, afternoon, evening or nighttime, wherever and whenever you may be watching. Thanks for clicking. Today, I'm going to be talking about my three top picks for those boiling hot summer days, if they show their face. I'm aware, you know, I've lived in the UK for 29 years, 30 years in a week's time, um, that the British summertime, you know, we get a handful of weeks maybe that are like, re and they're not consecutive weeks, but a handful of days which are really high heat. So these particular fragrances that I'm talking about, they're reserved for those boiling hot days. One really quick honorable mention is Virgin Island Water by Creed. The reason it's not on the list is simply because I used to have a bottle, but I don't anymore. That was a, and it still is, a really revitalizing fresh coconut rum lime. It's just, it's really beautiful. It's really, it just, to me, it evokes exactly like that sort of tropical vacation vibe. Not that I've gone to like a tropical island at any point in my life, but when I think vacation and tropical islands, that's the fragrance that comes to mind, but I no longer own a full bottle. So let's get into the top three. In third place on this list is, if I can hold it right, Aquadecima by Eau de Tali. This I watched Stephen do a video on this and he described it as a per the perfect mojito scent. Um, I've got a video on my channel reviewing this one, so I won't go into it in too much depth. I I agree that it smells like a mojito. It smells very fresh and crisp and like the cocktail in the first half hour, but then it transitions into a sort of soapy, clean fragrance. But it's still slightly aqueous. That's a good word if it is what I think it means. It, you know, it's got that sort of like watery nuance behind it, which really amps up that mojito vibe at the start. But then also it doesn't make it too soapy in the dry down. Like I said, there's vetiver in this at the bottom, which gives it a kind of soap cleanliness thing. But those aquatic notes that are somewhere in there, like pettigrain and I think jasmine, they don't make it too old school soapy. Number three. In second place is one of my personal favourite fragrances of all time, and it is Silver Mountain Water by Creed. So good, so good. I've said it before that I, for me personally, this is my favourite Creed fragrance. I would pick this over Aventus if I had to pick only one. It's got tea and blackcurrant, which in my opinion, out of the three on this list, makes it the perfect for smart slash work environments that gives it a professional edge that tea has like a calming effect is you know it's called silver mountain water and it's meant to resemble like a fresh mountain stream like an icy cold mountain stream and you know when i've sprayed it on skin after like an hour or two i totally get that i can totally imagine piercingly cold fresh water stream and it is glorious lasts a long time as well but yeah great for boiling hot days it's not sweet it's not it's just precise and crisp and elegant number two number one on my list if you've seen my other videos you may already know what it's going to be it is Un Jardin Sur la Nil by Hermes it like this shirt makes sense when I smell this fragrance like you know, I said about um, the third fragrance, which was Aquadecima, and I said there's an aqueous, like aquatic notes going on. This just smells like the most realistic, natural, watery slash, like, it's a bit weird to say vegetal and vegetation because it may put you off and it may put you in the mindset of like, like bat by zoologist or something so very earthy like that but it's not it's not earthy it's not soil it's not that sort of thing it just smells super fresh super natural and super watery but not in a weak way i think if i was going to try and put these fragrances in different boxes of when and where i would wear them in the summertime as i said silver mountain water would be that perfect daytime perhaps if i'm working in an office i personally don't but office workers, smart, dressed up in a suit. The Aquadecima fragrance, I could picture that as more, perhaps more in the evenings, in the nighttime, because of that slight tinge of mojito going on, gives it a more playful vibe. Whereas 
Un Jardin Solennial is just summer. It, to me, and my nose, it just encapsulates just those boiling hot days with the sun, not a cloud in the sky, sun's beaming down, and you just smell so unbelievably fresh. So fresh. My only downside of this fragrance is I hate, I hate this plastic cap. Aside from that, the bottle's lovely, the fragrance is lovely, the juice is magnificent. In fact, I think with all the Un Jardin line, like Un Jardin Sur la Toile and Un Jardin Méditerranée, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, um, they kind of all do have that summery, fresh, slightly aquatic vibe, but this one, to me, takes the top spot. Un Jardin Sur la Nile, number one. That's going to be it for this video, guys. If you've tried any of these fragrances, or indeed if you want to comment with why you're rocking for those boiling hot days, like I said, not don't think about those summer days which are kind of drizzly or kind of like a little bit cooler. Boiling hot days, what are you rocking? Let me know in the comments. See you on the next video. Peace.